itinerant gastronomy basically began out of an, an unexpected opportunity when uh, a fishmonger, a uh, friend of mine who uh, I was a regular customer of, called me and had a canceled order of 500 oysters. And so, you know, without even thinking, I just said yes, and then thought, oh, no. <laughs> What am I going to do with them? Um, at the same time, another good friend, Joanne Hendricks, has a cookbook store called Cookbooks. So I went to Joanne and I said, Joanne, we have 500 oysters, we have your store, can I serve oysters to people um, in front of it? And she said, sure. And so hence, that was the start of itinerant gastronomy. So on a beautiful fall, evening in front of cookbooks on Greenwich Street. We blocked off the street. We somehow called friends who called friends and then anybody who ended up walking by was invited to have an oyster or not. It was, you know, the food and the location and the people and very specifically the conversation that takes place where it's necessary that they're coming together at that particular moment. The table that you're actually seated at, it began in a conversation with a mathematician that I've done work with who specializes in knot theory. What we talked about is what would be the possibilities of how people could actually interact. So if we're having a meal in the Chicago Board of Trade, what kind of conversation, what kind of policy questions around that experience and that process and those transactions that take place there would create an engaging and fruitful conversation. The markets that a trader is confronted with, almost anybody that trades, change day to day, hour to hour. And wherever there are profits in doing that faster, better than the next guy, then people are going to throw money at it. It's a whole system of illusion that creates a disadvantage for a lot of people. If you're not in this, like I've never been in here, this is like crazy. There's something that's so base, I mean so kind of elemental, you know, it's very, it's very Roman. <laughs> and this is where I go back to how is everybody going to make money from the next shift in food production? How's a farmer going to make more money? How's, you know, the trader? Yeah, that's going to be the big thing. The menu then refers to the commodities that are being traded. We have pork belly, which is from Jude Becker's family's farm. The pigs on my farm were going to be really about how good the meat was from a culinary aspect. Not so much about how many pigs I could make or how fast I could raise them. Food, food is not art. Art is different because it only has to be itself. It does not have to be anything else except for a work of art. Think about spaces, art is one of them, where we can actually step aside from this you know, very hectic pace and this kind of you know, instantaneous generation of profit and, and shared communication. Hospitality is about pleasure. It's about the senses, it's about engagement. It also has to do, I think, with a certain level of providing what is expected to make that then unexpected in some manner. And that, that moment of grace. Cheers. 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 Cheers.